In tense moments inside City Hall, police removed people interrupting a vote on a resolution that would condemn Hamas's attack. CBS 2's Tara Molina was there when it happened and joins us live from the newsroom. Tara. Erica screams, chants, cheers, and a heated back and forth with near constant interruption. In a rare move, Mayor Brandon Johnson ultimately cleared the room and the floor, something he repeatedly said he didn't want to do, but those interrupting gave him no choice. Even once the mayor ordered everyone out, some refused to leave, continuing to scream outbursts across chambers. Eventually, people were forced out by Chicago police. They, some moved to the city hall lobby, where the group continued protesting. The symbolic Israel solidarity resolution meant to show support for Israel, condemning the terrorist attack by Hamas. It was drafted by the only Jewish person on Chicago City Council, 50th Ward Alderman Deborah Silverstein. Those who spoke out against the resolution today, both in and out of council chambers, called it anti-Palestinian, calling for a fair resolution, referencing and including the pain and suffering of the Palestinian people. And even Contemplating the bombing of an entire city is not justice. It's a humanitarian catastrophe. For these reasons, I cannot support this resolution. I urge my colleagues to be on the right side of history and to take a stand against Hamas's evil. The United States of America stands with Israel. President Biden and Vice President Harris stand with Israel. Only Alderman Rod Rosana Rodriguez Sanchez formally asked to be considered a no in the vote on the resolution. She spoke out on this earlier this week, calling for the resolution to also center on the humanity of Palestinians. You can read the resolution in full when you head to this story. It's up on our website right now. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News.